Hey friends, I am here at my favorite bakery store today. Mom has sent me here to buy some delicious pastries for myself and all at home. Come along with me to check out some tasty treats. Everything looks so yummy. What should I buy? These chocolate pastries or maybe those cupcakes or the apple pies? Oh no, I want to buy everything. I know. I'll buy one of each. I hope I have enough money. Let's see now. Chocolate pastry, eight rupees twenty-five paise. Cupcake for nine rupees seventy-five paise. Apple pie for twelve rupees fifty paise. And this eclair is for ten rupees twenty-five paise. Oh no! Now how do I add all this up? Wish I had a pen and a paper. Anything bothering you, son? Uh, hi. I am JC. I was just wondering how to add the price of all the things I want to buy. I need to know if I have enough money, and I don't have a pen and a paper to add it upon. You don't need to write it all down. Just round the values up. Then you can add them easily. Rounding of numbers. I know what that is. Sometimes we use approximate values of numbers instead of exact ones to make things easier to understand. But these are decimal numbers. Can we round off decimals too? Of course you can. You can easily round off decimal numbers to their nearest whole numbers, or to any place value you want. Let me show you how. Hmm. So you want to round off a decimal number to its nearest ones. How about nine point one? The first thing you need to do is to take a look at the digit in the tens place. If it is less than five. The digit in the ones place remains the same, and the digit in the tens place is replaced by zero. So, nine point one is rounded off to nine. Now, let's look at six point seven. Here, the digit. At the tens place is more than five, so we add one to the digit in the ones place and replace the digit in the tens place by zero. Six point seven becomes seven. How about learning? How to round off a number to its nearest tens? For this, take a look at the digit in the hundreds place. If it is less than five, the digit in the tens place remains the same, and the digit in the hundreds place is replaced by zero. If the digit in the hundreds place is five. Or more, we add one to the digit in the tens place and replace the digit in the hundreds place by zero. Similarly, we can round off decimal numbers to the nearest hundredth and thousandth too. Simply look at the digit next to the place value. To be rounded off to five point eight three nine, rounded off to the nearest hundredth becomes five point eight four, and eight point four five eight two, rounded off to the nearest thousandth becomes eight point four five eight. 
Did you understand that, JC? Yes, I did. Come on. Quickly round off to the price of each item you want to the nearest ones and add it up. Uh, how do I do that? It's simple. While rounding off measures of money, look at the digits after the decimal point, which represent paise. If the paise are 50 or more than 50, then add 1 to the digit in the 1's place and the digit after the decimal point becomes zero. If the paise are less than 50, then the ones digit remains the same and the digits after the decimal point become zero. Um, okay. The chocolate pastry is for 8 rupees 25 paise. Since 25 is less than 50, 8 rupees 25 paise is rounded to the lower ones. That is 8 rupees. Am I right? Yes, you are. Go on. Okay. The cupcake is for 9 rupees 75 paise. Now 75 is greater than 50. So I'll round it off to 10 rupees. The apple pie is 12 rupees and 50 paise. I'll round that off to 13 rupees and this eclair is for 10 rupees 25 paise. So I'll round that off to 10 rupees. Very good. Now you can easily add these numbers. Uh, 8 plus 10 plus 13 plus 10 is... Rupees 41. I need approximately 41 rupees to buy all this. Problem solved. <laughs> yes, I have 50 rupees, so I can pay for all of this. What about metric measures? Can we round off metric measures too? That's a very good question. Sometimes you may need to round off metric measures of length, weight and capacity written in decimal notation. In these cases, take a look at the digit to the right of the decimal point. If it's 5 or more than 5, then add 1 to the 1's digit and make the digits after the decimal point 0. If it is less than 5, simply make the digits after the decimal point 0. Let us round off 8.765 kg here to its nearest kg. Since 7 is greater than 5, we add 1 to the digit at the 1's place. 8.765 kg becomes 9 kg. And you can do exactly the same for length and capacity too. What about time? Time measures like hours and years have to be handled a bit differently. Since one hour has 60 minutes, if the digits after the decimal point are 30 or above 30, you add 1 to the digit before the decimal point and make the digits after the decimal point 0. So, 20 hours and 50 minutes becomes 21 hours. Exactly. If the digits after the decimal point are less than 30, then you simply make the digits after the decimal point 0. Like in 12 hours and 24 minutes. 12 hours and 24 minutes will be rounded off to 12 hours. Correct. While rounding off years, if the number of months is 6 or above 6, then you add 1 to the year. So, 5 years and 8 months can be rounded off to 6 years. Exactly. 
If the number of months is less than 6, make the number of months 0 and let the number of years be the same. Try this. 2 years and 4 months is... Uh, 2 years? Correct. Oh ho! Look at the time. It's time for me to close my shop. Here you go. Now don't eat it all at once. Thanks. Bye. Remember this about rounding off decimal numbers. To round off the decimal numbers to the nearest required place, such as ones, tenths or hundredths, look at the digit to the right of the given place. If the digit to the right is 5 or greater than 5, then add 1 to the digit at the required place and make the next digits 0. If the digit to the right is less than 5, then keep the digit in the required place as it is and make the next digits 0. Look at the given examples. 